Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. Sorry for the makeup. We are in October, so you know, Halloween is quickly approaching and I wanted to just try out like different like makeup looks. So this is my like spider woman purple contour type situation. Um, before we get anything started, I just would like to thank all my new subscribers who are in the bit like come on, come through. Welcome to the family. Thank you once again for joining the squad, the Tiger Lily gang. What a Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get right into this video. So before we get anything started, I just want to say once again, thank you for all the love and support that you guys have showed my channel thus far. I also just want to point out that the lock community is not that big on YouTube. Like it's people are popping up all over, but you guys get what I'm saying. So unfortunately a lot of, um, videos will be duplicated but we all have our own spin on things so if you see me doing something that you saw somebody else doing or vice versa just don't go under their channel and make it seem like you know what i'm saying don't don't do that because i've seen stuff on uh some of my youtube friends where people comment on things like that and then they do that on my video as well and it takes a lot to put yourself in front of this camera and to just spill the beans and just be honest and truthful with y'all so we don't want to be almost ridiculed because somebody else is doing the same thing we're doing there's a bunch of beauty gurus out there doing the same exact thing and you guys continue to watch their videos oh crrr. so in this video i will be talking about the ways to know that your locks are damaged. Look, I can say this with a shadow of the doubt that my hair is damaged. Healthy and thick and whatnot, but the state of it from the beginning is why I say my hair, if you have to take a microscope and just look inside my locks, you will see that it is damaged as well. That's just the nature, the nature of the beast. I'm not here to front with y'all. It is what it is. So let me give you a little backstory. When I, if you're new to my channel, you don't really know this story. So I'll go a little quicker for the oldies. So if you know a YouTuber by the name of Natural Nirvana, I'll put her picture here or her link in the description box below. However, I decide to do this. Well, the thickness of her locks, my locks was just as thick or even a little bit thicker than hers and when I first started my lock back in the day my lock journey back in the day a lot of people unless they were like of Caribbean descent or like had or was raised with locks however it is they're the only ones who really had locks with locks wasn't that big of a deal like how it is now so I was um under the assumption I not under the assumption I just didn't know that much about locks so um, I trusted the hands of a hairstylist a hair salon and she told me because of the thickness of my locks is why um, I couldn't style my hair I wouldn't be able to wear hats little does she know even now I, I mean I could rock a beanie but other hats <laughs> but yeah um so I trusted what she said and she shaved my, my locks. Long story short, because she shaved it, that altered my hair strands. That kind of damaged my hair strands, in a sense. And then I used to um, retwist my hair a lot. So that's why uh, it got really thinner and just the at, for a while the roots got like really thin They weren't growing as fast as I wanted it to grow and then I colored my hair first and foremost about knowing if Your locks are damaged is the roots You can tell by your roots if your locks are damaged if your locks your roots are really like um, uh, What is it thinning out or like? there's hair there, but it doesn't seem strong. This can be because of the amount of products that you're using. It could be because you're not moisturizing your hair, your your scalp. It could be because you're not washing your scalp properly. It could be because you color and you're not wa It could be a multitude of things, but the number one reason I would say that your locks are damaged, 
my girl, my boy, is because your strands. Look at your strands right now. See, like you can see my roots. My roots look pretty, you know, they look pretty strong, pretty, let's, let's fix that back to look cute for you guys. It took me a long journey to figure out what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And that's a whole process of this lock journey. I always tell you guys, do not compare yourself to anybody else. We are out here to tell you what works for us and it's all trial and error. What works for me and you tried it out, God bless if it works for you, but if it does not, go on to somebody else and see or just switch up a little bit of stuff and it's trial and error. Another reason why you can tell that your locks are damaged is the actual lock itself. Now, in a sense, the, this part of your hair is already dead, in a sense, but it can still be damaging. For instance, you guys know I color my hair a lot, and a lot of people do color their hair, but what the difference is, is if you take care of it and how you're coloring it. When you're coloring your hair, normally, you know, you squeeze it in, and you, you know, you just make sure it's all in there, and then when you wash it out, it washes out seamlessly. Aha, you can't do this with locks. The problem is, is that if you're squeezing all those colors into your lock, how, how, how do you really think you're gonna get all that color out? You'll be in that shower for two days, washing all that out, and nine times out of 10, all that color is still not out. Look, you don't need to color inside your locks. The color is on the outside. You get what I'm saying? So when you leave that color in there because you did not wash it out all the way, then you notice your hair starts feeling brittle. It starts looking weak in the center. That That's another reason why you know your, your hair is damaged, is how your lock is looking. It's looking weak in the center. It's looking like it's about to fall apart. It's, you have little pieces that look more healthier than the next. It's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on. So if you're not taking care of your hair, moisture moisturizing it consistently, like washing it consistently. If you're coloring your hair and you're not washing that color out all the way through, you are damaging your hair, boys and girls. Um, these are the things that I think shows that your hair is damaged. If I left anything out, please leave comments below, but I feel like the scalp and the, uh, the body should be the the main um like signs to show that your locks are damaged and um you can get you can reverse that you do not have to cut your hair off completely you can reverse that just by from then there on taking care of your hair sometimes you might have to clip because sometimes i have like little um weak ends on the bottom just from in the beginning and they all like growing out you can clip that off it's totally fine don't let anybody think once you cut your hair an angel falls from the sky are they falling in my lap because me see them yet you understand so don't tell people that lie. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope this was helpful for you in realizing the signs that your locks might be damaged. And if your locks are damaged from what I was saying, don't fret. Do not fret. Do not fret. Just start taking care of your hair and doing what you need to do. Drink plenty of water, moisturize your hair, deal with your diet. Don't put that much products in your hair try to stay away from the hair salons to be honest and yeah i'll see you guys next week what was today sunday so i'll see you tuesday or thursday <laughs> i don't know anyways i love you guys so much see you later tiger lilies tiger lily squad toodles